M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM7100, just showing you the split and duplex auto mode. So a bit like automatic repeater shift, but slightly different, but the end result is the same. So all you do is get yourself into VFL memory. So push the button here until you get to M1 and you go VFO memory. So we're gonna do this in VFO mode. And at the moment we're just normal simplex channel, okay? There's one, four, five, six, seven, five, no shift at the moment. Now, if we select duplex, go menu, number two, tap duplex, we, we automatically have got the shift. How have we got that? Because if we go into set, then function, and then go down to split duplex, which is number seven, we've got uh, at the top here, we've also got split on, which is an automatic feature. So now if we go to the duplex, look, we've set it at duplex offset 0.600 and we can change that just by tapping the screen and we can change, you know, type it in or click enter. Now with the split feature, go split offset, we can select plus or minus here. So at the moment we're mainly using minus. So we've got it in minus, click enter. Now, the th I'll show you what the quick split means, but you can turn that on and off if you want. Okay, so let's back out altogether. So we know we've got 600 put in there. So now we'll make sure we're in VFO mode and we'll select duplex, okay? Duplex, there's your duplex. And it's automatic put in the 600 hertz shift here. Can you see how it's done that? Automatically in duplex. Or if we come out of duplex, turn that off. And this time we'll hit the menu and we'll go to split. Tap split and it's putting in a shift and the shift is decided. Now if you hold it down like this, hold down the split, it will automatically put it in. The reason it's done it automatically is because when we were in set mode, function, select split duplex, at the top you can turn it off. Let's turn it, it's on at the moment, let's turn it off. Let's go back out, back to the screen. Now we'll come out of split, and now we'll push it again. It still works, but if we hold it down, see it doesn't give you the two beeps. That's because you, you now have to manually put the split in by selecting A and B. See, you can still adjust it this way but you have to select A and B. And this is exactly the same procedure for the ICOM 706. So we go back, function, function, split, turn it on, quick split, on, then back out, come out of split, back on. Hold it down, it does it automatically for